Yo. What is up mates it's your boy Trimers here. In this video, I will be showing you guys top 5 open world games for low end PC. All the above 5 games can be played on a dual cord CPU with 2GB RAM and also these can be played without a graphics card. Also this video is part 2 of top 5 games for low end PC. The first part will be on my boy Levitation 4D's channel. Link will be in the description. Also guys I have also provided downloads links for the games in the description. So let's get started. Guys, I just want to say that majority of people watching this video are actually subscribed to my channel. Please consider subscribing and like the video if this video helped you in any way. Thank you. The first game we have on this list is Vodka Open World Survival Shooter. Vodka is a survival shooter in the open world. The game takes place in a fictional state in Eastern Europe, most of the territory of which is infected with radiation. Your main task is survival. Watch the characteristics of your character. Look for food and water. Try to avoid mutants or use a diverse arsenal of weapons to destroy them. And beware of other survivors. They are not your friends. To play Vodka Open World Survival Shooter you will need a minimum CPU equivalent to an Intel Core 2 Duo Q6867. The minimum memory requirement for Vodka Open World Survival Shooter is 2GB of RAM installed in your computer. In terms of game file size, you will need at least 1GB of free disk space available. Player character is stranded or separated from others and must work alone to survive and complete a goal. Survival games focus on the survival parts of these games while encouraging exploration of an open world. They are primarily action game, though some gameplay elements present in the action-adventure genre, such as resource management and item crafting which are commonly found in survival games. On number 4 spot, we have Insane 2. Insane 2 offers a number of innovations in the off-road racing genre. Besides the traditional time trial mode, the game features 9 other game modes, including the popular Capture the Flag, Gate Hunt and Pathfinder, as well as some new competitions, such as Bonus Hunting, Territory Control and Helicopter Pursuit. All of these modes are also available in multiplayer, with up to 8 players participating simultaneously. More than 150 races combined into championships and cup competitions take place in Europe, America, Africa and the Antarctic. The game has an enormous variety of long-distance tracks, sand and snowy deserts, high-speed roads and impassable cross-country paths, African beaches and deserted Antarctic stations. The game features 18 vehicles of different classes, from buggies to monstrous Bigfoots, as well as an additional prototype class. Rating points won in the races can be used to upgrade any of the vehicles, from a selection of 15 running gear, body or engine upgrade alternatives. Each vehicle is furnished with a detailed destruction system. Reaching the end of a course without suffering any losses is an enormous challenge that only a select few are able to accomplish. The opponents, who constantly create extreme situations, aren't the only danger. Players also need to watch out for railway crossings heavy tanker trucks and even lightning in stormy weather. Insane 2 system requirements state that you will need at least 1 GB of RAM. In terms of game file size, you will need at least 2 GB of free disk space available. To play Insane 2 you will need a minimum CPU equivalent to an AMD Athlon 64FX34. The third game we have on this list is Armor 2. Armor 2 is a tactical shooter focused primarily on infantry combat, but significant vehicular and aerial combat elements are present. The player is able to command army squad members which adds a real-time strategy element to the game. This is further enhanced by the high command system, which allows the player to command multiple squads using the map. Armor 2 is set primarily in the fictional Eastern European state of Chernus. The Cherna Russian landscape is based heavily on the Czech Republic, the home country of the developer. Armor 2 features around 80 realistically represented weapons with many variants including assault rifles, machine guns, and missile launchers, with realistically simulated ballistics. 
There are around 130 vehicle variants, and any vehicle that exists in game can be controlled by the player, including civilian cars, tractors and bicycles. Similarly, all aircraft encountered in the game can be flown by the player, with limited fuel and realistic weapon loadouts. Armor 2 includes a mission editor which makes it possible to create user-made single-player missions or campaigns and multiplayer missions through use of the in-game wizard. More complex missions can be enhanced with scripting commands. The syntax and interface have both been kept largely consistent with the Armor series, meaning that missions are ported across games. To play Armor to you will need a minimum CPU equivalent to an AMD Athlon 3200+. However, the developers recommend a CPU greater or equal to an Intel Core 2 Duo E8400 to play the game. Armor 2 system requirements state that you will need at least 1GB of RAM. Additionally, the game developers recommend somewhere around 2GB of RAM in your system. The fourth game we have on this list is Mercenaries 2. Mercenaries 2 World in Flames is an explosive open-world action game set in a massive, highly reactive, war-torn world. A power-hungry tyrant messes with Venezuela's oil supply, sparking an invasion that turns the country into a war zone. But for you, the international crisis is all upside. You are a mercenary, and you profit from chaos. Mercenaries 2 features a slew of potential clients, all willing to pay you to do their dirty work. Dirty deeds, done for exorbitant fees. These are world powers with deep pockets, deep grudges, and enough arms and ammo to start World War III. This is your kind of environment. Mercenaries 2 features the latest and most dangerous in civilian and military tech. Everything from shiny new sports cars, to the future tech satellite guided bunker busting mini nuke. Tanks, APCs, boats, luxury automobiles, you name it. You can have it delivered to you in real time. And if you run out of cash you can always acquire the gear you need in the field. If you see it, you can buy it, steal it, or blow the living crap out of it. Play your own way, or play with the help of a friend in the new cooperative multiplayer mode. You are not a soldier. You don't have to play by anyone's rules. You have your own code. You will fulfill the terms of the contract, no matter what. Not everyone in the world of mercenaries is as honorable. Everyone will try and screw you, given the chance. The final game we have on this list is Test Drive Unlimited. Test Drive Unlimited is the only game that immerses you into the car and bike enthusiast lifestyle, with total freedom to race however and wherever you want within a huge online persistent environment. Visit the most sophisticated car and bike dealers to purchase new vehicles or simply take them for a spin. Collect and trade rare performance parts and customize each vehicle to make it one of a kind. Test Drive Unlimited challenges players online to experience the most exotic and fastest vehicles on more than 1,000 miles of diverse Hawaiian roads. Gamers win races, challenges, missions and tournaments to earn credits and purchase new cars, bikes, rare performance parts clothes, apparel, homes and garages. Features more than 125 licensed vehicles from exclusive manufacturers including Lamborghini, Ducati, Aston Martin, Mercedes, Sleen, Shelby, and Jaguar. Upgrade each car or bike with options from the actual manufacturer's catalogue. Players create characters, buy new homes and garages, and tune and upgrade vehicles with aftermarket parts. Extracurricular activities such as expanding your garage, getting clothes and fashion accessories for your avatar, helping hitchhikers catch planes, picking up girls, chasing car thieves, and escaping from a psychopath. Test Drive Unlimited system requirements state that you will need at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. An Intel Pentium CPU is required at a minimum to run Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. So guys that's it, top 5 games for low end PC. Guys don't forget to check out part 1 of this video for extra 5 more games, and thanks for watching. And if you guys have any suggestions or need help, then make sure to comment down below I will reply to you as soon as possible and make sure to join my discord server. Link will be in the description.
So see you guys in the next video. Bye.